Okay, I'm exploring the stretch of the Roman River, which runs upstream from Heckford Bridge, going towards Friday Woods. No, anyway, upstream from Heckford Bridge. And I know there's trout in here because I've caught them and it screams trout. Relatively clean, fast flowing over a gravel bed. The problem is how the hell to fish it. It's not going to be a fly fishing attempt because there are so many, so much low growth over the whole of the river. That bank's the better bank, but last time I was on that bank, I was accosted by the farmer who did not seem impressed by my protestations that I do not trash the, the hedges, I shut gates and I don't kill the wildlife. So I've come to the opposite bank, which is incredibly overgrown. But I'm beginning to wonder if the best strategy is not to enter this river from further upstream, where there's a fairly clean entry point up by Cotford Church and walk my way down it because in the from this is a this is mid-march and already the stinging nettles are starting to grow and by April the opening of the trout season those will be waist high so I'm thinking a pair of waterproof trousers long sleeve top and basically wade through as much of the river as is possible with small spinners or crank baits as our American cousins call them is going to be the best strategy for winkling out what I know is in here and under that tree there and that deep little hole under those tree roots I would expect there to be a plump old trout that's my strategy watch this space this is the animal trail that ran from where we were a few minutes ago and runs along to here. Unfortunately, it's unfollowable because there are so many brambles through that section which the animals can get under, but I can't. But I'm going to make it back down to the river. They logged this whole section a couple of years ago I think the general principle is to try and get rid of the conifers that were planted in the 40s and 50s and 60s possibly and allow the native deciduous trees to grow back but they literally denuded most of this slope of everything except the larger trees bluebells here are going to be utterly spectacular in a few weeks time Let's see if we can get back down to the river. This animal trail comes right past somebody's front door. Badger, fox, I don't know. Look at this for a little stretch that screams trout. They won't be particularly big, but they'll be entertaining. That's probably fishable with a fly. Once I get past this hazel tree, I will... Actually, it might not be a hazel, I don't know. Once I get past this tree, I'll get a closer look at that bit. But it looks like you might be able to get a back cast above the river there. While I'm here, I've been looking for hazel trees that will yield walking sticks. I've got a couple here, dead straight, they'll do nicely. So where they logged this a couple of years ago, it's made space for the light to get to the forest floor and all sorts of new growth is appearing. All these new little shoots. I don't know how many of them will grow into mature trees because once the summer comes and the trees above are in relief, there's going to be competition for the light. 
but there's a lot of new growth here on the forest floor. There's a bumblebee, very early. I tried to walk back through this stretch of forest last October, I'd been chestnutting, and I took that top route there, which runs along the edge of the landfill site you might be able to see through the trees. And the brambles were so thick that at one point I thought I wasn't gonna make it out. I didn't have a stick or anything with me. But uh, I've taken the slightly lower route without going back along the river, and it looks like it's fairly passable. Here they did no logging at all. And this is what happens when nature takes its course. Combination of high winds, the odd lightning strike, and just old age means that the trees fall naturally. And you're left with this extraordinary jumble there's a lot of what's called widow makers in here. A widow maker in logging parlance is a branch that has broken off, but is hanging somewhere up in the tree because it's been caught by other branches on its fall to the ground. And they're called widow makers for obvious reasons. Some of them are so finely balanced that the merest breath of wind or movement of the tree trunk could cause them to fall and they would come crashing down onto either the forest floor or anything that intervenes between them and the forest floor like a nice soft squidgy human being and now while there's not really any leaves in the trees you can see where they are uh, there's not immediately right here but if I find one I'll show you 